Okay, this is a refresher for myself on how to make a DVD from a uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12.0 video file. So here's my video file. It's all ready to render. So I'm going to go to listen to my video screen. Project, render as. And the first step is to put it in the correct folder here and name it whatever you need to name it. Be consistent. You want your sound file to match the name of your video file except for the extension. So we're going to do the sound file first which is going to be Dolby uh, AC3 format. So open that up. Select stereo DVD and render. It should render very quickly. It's just a sound file. Then go to back to project, render as, and we're going to pick the main concept MPEG-2 format. It's going to be an MPG extension and you're going to scroll down to DVD Architect NTSC widescreen video stream. I like to customize a template and go to project tab and instead of using the project settings just to be sure I do the video rendering quality as best. Confirm that your, your fields are correctly. For DVD you want 720 by 480 and 29.97 frames per second. It's going to hit render. A half hour uh, episode should take about 20 minutes to render the video file and the sound file will render in less than a minute. Again I named it the same and I put it in the same folder. It's almost done. This was just a little test file. Close that. Now I can hide this screen. Go to DVD Architect. I've already got my pieces in place here, but I could then drag that exact uh, file here into the menu bar and it'll create a text and image thumbnail on the screen here. I've already built these ones, but I just wanted to remind myself how to do that. You would drag in just the MPG file or the video file and the sound file comes along with it automatically. Over here, for the background, See how I got that. Background media. We click on this tab. And then here I can upload. Uh, in this case, I'm going to replace it with something I just created. I put everything in the DVD final source files. And I just created a alternate book and game ending. So I want the MPG file to go in for the video. And then audio is a separate file. I'm going to replace that. DVD, book and game, there's the audio, audio file, don't use the SFL files. Okay, you can see it should come in down here, and then I can preview it by clicking preview. There's my video playing, and then I can use my, my guide here to flip through the different tabs that I had created earlier. And if I wanted to preview those, I can click on one of them, Hi, and Neil it should take Peter, me right to the beginning. Of a good goodbye, okay, that's it. So I can close the preview, go back to here, and then once I set these all up correctly, I can, I can change the relationship by using this button here, navigation tool. That shows me the relationships between the buttons, and I just pull these. They should automatically show this kind of relationship. So that one goes left and right, and then I connected this one all the way back to the beginning so that you could loop it, otherwise it doesn't loop it. Um, to add text, you want to go to the Insert Text button, and then uh, Make the DVD. You're going to click Make DVD, and you're going to go ahead and either burn it or prepare it, depending on what you want to do. That's it. Good luck.